clock mist. <laughs> I'm still in my pajamas. I'm wearing the Saucy Surrey. This is a, a design of my own. It has a zipper. That's super easy. I have tutorials on how to do the zipper. It has this really cute sort of baseball neck. Oh, it's so adorable. I love this. It's so cozy. I put this on so frequently. It's just a nice jacket especially to put on over my pajamas so I'm presentable in case I run into a, another person, my niece or nephew, downstairs when I'm running around downstairs getting coffee and cat food. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yay, day five. So last night, that little teeny clip that you saw, it was so cool. Um, not the clip necessarily, but that event, that was a almost two hour event and it was charity night. Kudos to Christy Glass. She did such a great job emceeing so far the two knit nights that I've been to. Um, oh, I shouldn't say so far. I, th there are the only two that I, tonight's uh, knit night is exclusive for the group that are going to the live retreat next year, which I, I don't feel good about signing up for. Like I'm really interested. I love Christy. I've made friends with so many uh, people that are friends with her. And uh, I really enjoy, like, I love, love, love hanging out with them. They're such a hoot. Um, 
But I, I don't know. I just feel a little uneasy. It's a little too far in the future, I think, for me. Um, I don't have a, a grasp on what exactly I'll be doing next winter. So, because I think it's November, mid-November. It falls on one of my son's birthdays. And uh, my new daddy. My new daddy son. <laughs> I know it's not the right way to say it, but you know what I mean. My son who's a new daddy. Yeah, so his daughter will be turning one next year. I don't know. I just, I feel a little anxiety about booking. So I decided not to book yet. Um, I'm going to just wait and see. I have a feeling there'll be some opportunities to book in the, in the you know, later on in the early spring or so when, when it might be a clearer picture for me. Anyway, tonight's event, tonight's, tonight's knit night is for those who are attending the full retreat. So I'm sad. I, I... The world's not more stable and I could I could decide more easily that that would be something I really want to do. It would be it would be fun. It sounds like fun. I might cave. I'm not sure. Ha, huh. anyway. Oh, I wanted to show you the talk about the um the 12 day. So this was what I opened today. This is uh I'm pretty sure that means Road of the Stars. There's a there's I'm not sure what Ver, I have to look that up, but Root, Root or Ru means street or street of the stars maybe? Streetway? I don't know. I have to look it up. I'll look, I'll put it on screen. Um, so I, uh, I weighed my fiber. They are 20 grams, not 10, which means three of these braids will be a bobbins worth for me because I try to keep my spinning bobbins to uh 50 grams or so like 40 to 60 grams depending on what kind of ply i'm doing uh and yeah so i have to really think through i want to spin this morning while i'm watching some of the webinars and things that are the last day of knit and escape and um so i'm, tr I'm trying to puzzle this out right now because as soon as i'm done filming this i'm gonna set up my spinning wheel and get spinning and i'll i'll show you that um but yeah, anyway, I had to think about this. I, there's, I may want to strip this, um, the braids into, um, pieces and then plant and save some for another bobbin just so that I get something that more closely resembles the gradient that I think the dyer intended. So the dyer is French. I think I've said that she's, it's Le, Pe Le, Le Petit Potions. So a lot of the names of the colors are in French, which I love. It's quaint. It's beautiful. Um, I love when people share their, their culture. <sighs> I, I feel like I'm jumping around. So I wanted to tell you about the charity night. It was really beautiful. It was beautifully done. The charities that were there, <clears throat> Jonas Hans was there, who's like a, a little mini celebrity, mini only because he's a small person because he's not fully grown yet. Um, but yeah, he was there and there were a few other, there were other charities there. It was really, really beautifully done. And I took notes because I have, I have, I, one of the things I do in my day job is my, my um, academic department is human services. It's a, it's not called that, it has a different name, but the idea is that our students are being prepared for human service. So I run the internship program for our students and um, I have about 100 students going out to human service internships in the spring, starting in February. And I have a lot, about 40, maybe a little less, that haven't found a site yet. So I'm going to reach out to some of those charities and see if they want some volunteers or if they take volunteers or how my students might be able to volunteer for them. Because it's very challenging right now to find in-person internships during a pandemic because so many human service agencies are very small operations and they don't really know how to take on a remote working intern so they don't know what to do with them so anyway it's been challenging for our students i feel bad for them but you know it's challenging for all of us <laughs> we're gonna get through it it's the vaccine coming I haven't shared my knitting lately, so I wanted to do that. This is um, what I've been doing. Well, I've been working on the um, 
been working on the sweater I can't show you. Been, I'm, I'm closing in on finishing that thing. That thing, it's beautiful. It's super beautiful. I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna show you it in the bag um, in a day or two. It's, it's too far away from me right now, otherwise I'd show it to you now. But uh, yeah, I'm working on another hat using the nightshades. This is probably gonna use up the entire um, amount of nightshades that's left. I'm putting it with my hand spun. I'll probably finish this today um, because, did I say I'm going to? <laughs> this is my second take. Actually, it's close to my third take of this <laughs> intro video because the first time I was doing it, the heater was blowing so hard I couldn't hear myself and then the second time I was doing it I I kept coughing <laughs> so, just because I had like a frog in my throat so I can't remember did I tell you I'm going to New York today I'm going to New York today I'll be heading over there soonish like around noon um, hang <clears throat> hanging out with two of my sons the younger two um, I haven't, have I said, I haven't been able to see my granddaughter. My older son and my daughter-in-law decided that uh, because of the threat of COVID um, that it's better for no one to see them. So they're, they're in their own little bubble, the little three person bubble. So I haven't been able to see them or her since she was born. It's really hard. I miss her and him they FaceTime me though so I get to see them that way oh it's hard um anyway didn't mean this to be sad uh, I'll be seeing the other two today and my uh one one of my sons is one of those two is partnered so I'll be seeing him and his partner and uh my birthday boy son so yeah so we'll, I'll take you along for that I'm having lunch with them because because tonight I have a class with Casa Pinca I'm so excited about that it's going to be so fun um yeah so that I wish you could be in the class with me so we could talk about it but I understand that's you know proprietary information <laughs> that cannot be shared it's it is what it is so um but I can tell you about it I'll tell you about it tomorrow morning don't you love that little um the only reason I'm still holding it is because I haven't showed you this cute snowman marshmallow chocolate, hot chocolate mug. It's from, I think it's from Simply Serving. I bought it from a homespun house. Um, I bought a little Christmas package, which I haven't talked about on my channel because I got it after my last recording of my full episode. So I'll show you all the things I got from her. Um, in my full episode that'll be I'll be doing that oh next weekend so we have one more week I think that's about it my cat is staring at the wall like there's a ghost he's seeing a ghost it's very weird it's probably a bug all right I think that's about it I'm gonna show you my spinning in a little bit and I'll uh, check in with you later bye <laughs>
Hello. Hi, Meow Meow. I've spun um, a, about more than half of the first um, 10 grams. So that's what it looks like on the wheel. You can see it's pretty thin. It will, um, you can see the strand right there. It will likely end up being a kind of on the slightly heavier side fingering weight. I'm going to do a two ply. I decided I'm going to do a two ply. I just need to figure out what I need to figure out is what the other bobbin will look like. But I have, I've got to open two more bags. So I get a total of 50 grams on each bobbin to have a hundred gram uh, skein of some beautiful yarn. Um, and this is Cordale. I don't know if you can see, I think you can see there is quite a lot of um, fuzz in it. It's very, very cool. I love it. You can see the the spots of purple and um, and peach in there. This dark spot here, that's my lead yarn um, in there. So that that's not part of what will be the skein. That's just, you always need a lead on your bobbin in order to uh, start the, the bobbin, the fiber winding. I'm so excited to wear shoes. <laughs> I am heading into the city. Just got in my car and slept my house. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I will show you. I'll show you what I can. It's hard when I'm driving. Once in royalty, the city stood alone. West Harlem. Uh, about like when Hamilton Heights, this is Ryan's building. It's way up there. One of those floors up there. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is what it looks like. This is the neighborhood. This is right near Alexander Hamilton's house. Hey there. So we're Jesus in the Bronx Christ. now. Um, Ryan actually ran ahead of me. Um, <laughs> he needed to get inside. So it's very cold and windy. Uh, but I'm going to show you, show you the neighborhood. Typical Bronx housing. Um, there's a really generously sized backyard right there. And then my son lives last advent calendar now you know why i was so excited about it and why i was saying that it is um so sweet and different um so i haven't opened it yet i just unsealed the box so let me just let's see what we got okay here we go mm. All right, I have to figure out when. Um, yeah, so this was the inspiration photo for this advent calendar. I'm so excited. Um, I did not splurge on a full 24 day. I just did 25. This looks like a project bag of some sort. Um, I did, I'm sorry, I did the 12. I am so, so excited. I've never tried this company's um, cashmere yarn before. I always knit with uh, Clinton Hill cashmere. So this will be exciting. I just need to figure out when I'm gonna start it. Um, still doing Stacy's. I might start this right away just because it's so exciting. All right, um, it's the end of the night practically. I have like another hour or so before bed. I'm gonna do some editing and all of that and yeah. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.